Right, so this video is going to be about how I edit dialogue on our videos. Quite a few people have asked how I do my editing. So we're going to go through editing this video clip I did today. It's only about 10 minutes long, but we're going to edit a lot of the junk out of it. And we're going to show you why we use two cameras. So to start the video as it is. Is that recording? Yep. Is that recording? Yep. Right, sync the audio. Go. Right, so on that part, you'll hear me clap to sync the audio. Go. So if I go to where I clap, if I expand it. There. These two spikes on the timeline are the claps. Go. Right, so on my other camera, my forward facing one, if I look for the same spikes, there we go, I can line them up. So at least then I'll know both cameras are in sync with each other. So if I put my timeline in the middle, There we go. So that's both cameras synced. So what we'll do, we'll go through this video. And I won't put this second camera on yet. I'll leave that one until the finished product at the end. And then you'll see the difference. But what we're going to do now, we're just going to go through the dialogue. And see what we want to remove. Is that recording? Yeah. Is that recording? Yeah. Right, sync the audio. Right. Gonna make a little video now. Right, so we don't want any of that bit before. So I'm gonna chop it, get rid of it. So the video will start. Gonna make a little video now. Um because quite a few people have asked how I do my editing. So I'm gonna make a few little few little videos how I do my editing. I'm not claiming this is the only way you should do it or you know, this is the official way you do it. This is how I edit. So this first little video, I'm going to show you. <coughs> right, okay. We don't want that part in. So this first little video, I'm going to show you. <coughs> right. So we're going to cut it there. You. Swallow the fly, then I'm going to show you right. So that's where I carry on talking. So we're going to cut that bit out. Oh, you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you right. So I'll repeat myself. There. So this first little video, cut that out. So this first little video, I'm going to show you why it's important to have two cameras ideally you need right we've got quite a bit of a gap here where there's no talking so i'm going to cut that out cameras ideally you need two cameras to do it um, and this first video i'm going to show you just a bit about the audio and talking and now to choose what what the talking is again same again we've got a bit of an audio gap there we don't want it i know it's only like a second or so but it's, it's you'll see the difference when the video is edited and we play it back how it just cleans it up and you haven't got all these pauses in talking to choose what what the talking is going to be and what you want and how to cut out all the dead stuff you don't need and this is where two cameras come handy also i'm going to try out my new highway picks right so there i've gone off topic i'm talking about something else so i don't want that in the video two cameras come handy there 
And also, I'm going to try out my new Highway Pix extended ones. So, right, let's have a little bit of a ride. And what you'll probably notice is when you watch a video, okay, there. I'm going to cut that bit out about the highway pegs. Handy. And what you'll probably notice is, when you watch a video, the talking is... F it runs smoothly. It's quite fluent how the conversation goes. But in reality, it's n it doesn't work that way. I don't script what I'm going to say, but I edit it so it all fits together. That there's no long pauses between what I'm saying. So what I'm probably going to do now, I'm just going to just talk some rubbish as normal. And then when we do the editing bit, I'll show you what I do with the audio. And I will clean up to the bits what I want. Right, so we've got a bit of a gap here now before there's talking. We don't want that sniffing it. It's a bit of a dry day today. But I think there's a bit of crap all over the roads. 14 degrees, I've got my road skin armoured hoodie on, I can't find my summer gloves, I've put my summer gloves somewhere and I can't find them so... Right so again we've gone off topic here, we don't want this. I think I could have got away with summer gloves today. Oh god I don't want to swallow it then. Oh. Yeah I want to try out these uh, highway pegs. So the idea why I've gone with highway pegs is well, let's get rid of that. To her, my knees still ache a bit. And what I've done previously, I've just let me lay. What I was doing, I was dragging my feet on the floor while I was riding. So now a lot of people they will leave all this bit in. So I'm not really saying anything. Okay, so we're back on topic there. So there we can see all of this. is dialogue we don't want, so we'll chop it out. The bits what I want. Now a lot of people, they will leave all this bit in. So I'm not really saying anything any important, but you know, I'm not just on a normal crap road, main streets. I'm in a bit of the countryside. But a lot of people tend to leave all of it in. Right, we've got an audio gap here. Let's go this way. Looks like it's been raining every year. And I'll explain a bit of the the ten second Okay. Let's jump to that part. Get rid of that. In. And I'll explain a bit of the the ten second rule with clips. So ideally what you want to be doing is you don't really want to have one view really longer than 10 seconds unless it's a specific subject you're talking about and you're concentrating on something then that will need to be longer than 10 seconds but if it's something like this just general talking and general riding and there's nothing specific for the view then every 5 to 10 seconds you need to be changing changing camera, changing view okay. we've got an audio gap here and this is where it could... And this is where it comes in handy of cutting out all the gaps when you're talking. Right, we've got quite a big gap here. There's some people, quite a few do it. It's quite a few people will well, there's a gap there with me talking. I will just cut the video and join the video back to where I continue to cut the line, where I continue. Right, okay. Let's start from there. Let's get rid of this. Talking. It's quite a few people will. Well, there's a gap there with me talking. I will just cut the video and join the video back to where I continue to cut the line. Where well, I continue talking. Right, so we need to cut that bit out. And join the video. Back to where I continue to talk. Cut the line. Where well, I continue to talk. 
and join the video. Back to where I continue to cut to that. Where there, cut out that bit, but I say it wrong. And join the video where I continue talking. But the problem is, quite a few people will. Well, there's a gap there with me talking. I will just cut the video and join the video. See, this part here is exactly this clip. So if you watch, I've chopped out a bit of an audio there, but you'll see the jump. So if you just watch it. I will just cut the video and join the video where I continue talking. There, you see the jump. But the problem is with that, you see the jump. You see the jump in footage. It doesn't look natural. And the viewer then knows that but that's not a natural conversation that you've chopped the video out. Or what some other people do is they will cut it, but they will put a, a crossfade transition. And really, the idea of a... If you're going to use a transition on the same camera... So if I'm using my forward-facing camera, and I'm then going to transition to the next clip from the same camera, that should only really be being used if you're trying to show a time lapse, that time has passed, and you're further on. You don't really want to be doing that if you just... You're talking, you're doing a conversation. Right, let's cut that bit there, and I'll show you what I mean by using a crossfade on the same camera. Right, so if I open up my effects, there. And you're further on. You don't really want to be doing that if you just, you're talking, you're... If you just, you're talking, you're doing a... See, it doesn't look right, it looks like a blur. If you just, you're talking, you're doing a... So, if you're using the same camera at the same angle, and you've cut a clip out of it, don't use a crossfade. You don't really want to be doing that if you just, you're talking, you're doing a conversation, because that, that's not the idea of the effect. The effect is to show, you know, time has passed on, and you're further on down the road, further on down the line. Okay, right. We've got an audio gap here. But just little subtle things. And I went on Peaky Biker's live stream. Let's cut that bit out. And I went on Peaky Biker's live stream Wednesday where we was talking about this. And I explained then is, is the best thing to do is just watch watch television, watch films, documentaries, soaps, what I'm on. And you will see, that's how it's done. Actually, that's a campsite. Right, I've gone off subject here, so we want to cut that out. And you will see, that's how it's done. Cut that bit there. Actually, that's a campsite. So what happens here is, I turn into this campsite. And I go and have a look. But I want this timeline to carry on talking when I come out the campsite so you don't, you wouldn't even notice I've stopped and gone somewhere else That looks like that's caravan storage So let's find where we want See so if we can get a bit of a last minute winter camping Yeah, so There So although there'll be a jumping footage the dialogue should continue And you will see that's how it's done. And you will see on documentaries and TVs out and every five to ten seconds come on. And you will see that's how it's done. Well, let's get that bit out because it sounds like I'm repeating myself. Soaps what I'm on. And you will see. And you will see on documentaries and TV soaps what I'm on. Cut that bit out. I'll say that word twice. Soaps what I'm on. And you will see on documentaries and TVs out, and every five to ten seconds they will change clip. It just keeps just keeps the viewer engaged. Let's cut this gap out. But the bonus is aged. But the bonus is that is is using two cameras, you can switch between cameras. We've got a gap, let's put that out. between cameras if you want to cut something out like that there, there then 
me going on my campsite, I'm gonna cut, when we edit it, I'm gonna cut that bit out. But as I'm coming down this road talking, you won't see the difference. You won't see a jump of my front camera going forward. So what I will do is I will switch forwards and backwards between these two cameras. Let's get rid of that gap. And that'll show you a... So you can see I'm having a continuous dialogue, but I'm having a lot of pauses and breaks in between it. Backwards between these two cameras. And that'll show you where you can do it. And you can just clean up a video. You can get rid of a lot of junk in the video you don't want, but without the viewer noticing. You know, you're, you're chopping and cutting the video. And a lot of these big channels, they do that. Just cut the video and it jumps forward and... It just looks, if you ask me, it just looks rubbish. Well, I believe those little gaps in there, they seem okay. I'll tell you, we get it spot. There. We'll get rid of that one. It just looks rubbish. I'll tell you, we get it spot on. Teapot one. He's got it. If you watch Teapot One's videos, it's constantly between between cameras, and you never get the sense that he's, you know, five ten miles down the road. You would never know. Morning. <laughs> Thank you. So well, let's get rid of Thank this. You then had no idea what he said. Bloke on that bike. I like that house. Bloke something there. Looking looking out. This video is it's only going to be a little one. Right. Okay, we're back on topic. So get rid of all of this. And the road. So that's all this video is. It's only going to be a little one. Well, this this part's only a little. I don't know how long the video's going to turn out because I'm actually going to go through the editing part as well. Put there. And I'll demonstrate showing you. Only using one camera where we're going to cut the audio out and how you can see the jumps. I know it doesn't work. I'm going to cut there. So that's going to be my little... Let's cut it there. So that's going to be my little video. The first one showing how I edit. And what I'll do, I'll make other videos on the, the other things I do to edit. Okay. Now I've got quite a big gap. So that's that lover. So that's that lover. Okay, we'll cut that out. So that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Oosh. Okay, so that's my video. I've cut out there as many pauses as I want, and I've got rid of a lot of the stuff where I'll go off topic. What you'll find there is, as you watch it, you'll see the jumps when I've cut it out, because it's using one camera. This first little video, I'm going to show you why it's important to have two cameras. Ideally, you need two cameras. So you can see the jumps. It just doesn't look good. In view. And this is where it comes in handy. And a lot of channels still leave this in. All the gaps when you're talking. It's quite a few people will... Well, there's a gap there with me talking. So the only thing they will notice is, is on these gaps there might be a different in background noise. So you'll leave a little clip. It's quite a few people will if I go here. You're talking. It's quite a few You can hear a bit of a change in the sound. That's what I will do now. On these clips I'll detach the audio from the video. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little crossfade on the audio. And that should get rid of any clips in the sound. But it only needs to be small. Move it on that one. Move it on that one. We've got one there. We'll have it on that one. So now there shouldn't be any noticeable change in sound. But the bonus is that is is using two cameras, you can switch between cameras if you want to cut something. There. Right. So this is the bit now where 
where we've got the changes in talking is where we hide the jumping and this is where we enable the second camera view gonna make a little video now because um, quite a few people have asked how I do my editing right so there I'm gonna turn on forward facing camera but turn the audio off gonna make a little video now um, because quite a few people have asked how I do my editing so I'm gonna make a few little few little videos how I do my editing I'm not claiming this is the only way you should do it or you know this is the official way you do it this is how I edit so this first little video I'm gonna show you so as you can see there we've chopped a bit at the audio because I've jumped from camera to camera angle it doesn't look like there's a part being chopped out it, it looks natural so this first little video I'm going to show you why it's important to have two cameras ideally so there we can we jump there so when we jump we're going to turn on that camera Leo I'm going to show you why it's important to have two cameras ideally you need two cameras to do it um, and this first video I'm going to show you just a bit about the audio and talking and now to choose what what the talking is going to be and what you go. want we jump to the other one. cut out all the dead stuff you don't need and this is where two cameras come handy and what you'll probably notice is so what I'm going to do now is every other I'm going to enable the camera And that will now hide the jumps in the video so to the viewer they won't notice that the sections being cut out it will look like one continuous dialogue and that's how I've cleaned up the audio so what I'll do now I'm going to render this video and we'll play incomplete and that's how I clean up the audio get rid of any dead wood at the dialogue but without it looking like the footage is jumping or skipping so it looks just looks like a natural part so that's gone from 10 minutes down to five minutes so i've cut five minutes out of that video but the video will look like that is me just having one continuous conversation where there's no pauses or if i've gone off subject or i've turned down a different turning anything like that all that will be removed and you won't notice it so i'll render it now and then we'll watch it and then i'll think about what the next video is going to be A little video now because um, quite a few people have asked how I do my editing so I'm gonna make a few little few little videos how I do my editing I'm not claiming this is the only way you should do it or you know this is the official way you do it this is how I edit so this first little video I'm gonna show you why it's important to have two cameras ideally you need two cameras to do it um, and this first video i'm going to show you just a bit about the audio and talking and how to choose what what the talking is going to be and what you want and how to cut out all the dead stuff you don't need and this is where two cameras come handy and what you'll probably notice is when you watch a video the talking is f it runs smoothly it's quite fluent how the conversation goes but in reality it's n it doesn't work that way i don't script what i'm going to say but i edit it so it all fits together that there's no long pauses between what i'm saying so what i'm probably going to do now i'm just going to just talk some rubbish as normal and then when we do the editing bit I'll show you what I do with the audio and I will clean up to the bits what I want now a lot of people they will leave all this bit in so I'm not really saying anything any important but you know I'm not just on a normal crap road around streets I'm in a bit of the countryside but a lot of people tend to leave all of it in and I'll explain a bit of the the 10 second rule with clips so ideally what you want to be doing is you don't really want to have one view 
really longer than 10 seconds unless it's a specific subject you're talking about and you're concentrating on something then that will need to be longer than 10 seconds but if it's something like this just general talking and general riding and there's nothing specific for the view about every five to ten seconds you need to be changing changing camera changing view and this is where it comes in handy of cutting out all the gaps when you're talking it's quite a few people will well there's a gap there with me talking that will just cut the video and join the video where I continue talking but the problem is with that you see the jump you see the jump in footage it doesn't look natural and the viewer then knows that that's not a natural conversation that you've chopped the video out or what some other people do is they will cut it but they will put a, a crossfade transition and really the idea of a if you're going to use a transition on the same camera so if I'm using my forward facing camera and I'm then going to transition to the next clip from the same camera that should only really be being used if you're trying to show a time lapse that time has passed and you're further on you don't really want to be doing that if you're just you're talking you're doing a conversation because that that's not the idea of the effect the effect is to show you know time has passed on and you're further on down the road further on down the line and I went on Peaky Biker's live stream Wednesday where we was talking about this and I explained then is, is the best thing to do is just watch watch television, watch films, documentaries, soaps, what I'm on. And you will see on documentaries and TVs out uh, every five to ten seconds that will change clip. It just keeps just keeps the viewer engaged. But the bonus is that is is using two cameras, you can switch between cameras if you want to cut something out. Like that that there then. Me going on that campsite, I'm gonna cut when we edit it, I'm gonna cut that bit out. But as I'm coming down this road talking, you won't see the difference. You won't see a jump of my front camera going forward. Because so what I will do is I will switch forwards and backwards between these two cameras. And that will show you where you can do it. And you can just clean up a video. You can get rid of a lot of junk in the video you don't want. But without the viewer noticing. You know, you, you're, you're chopping and cutting the video. And a lot of these big channels, they do that. Just cut the video and it jumps forward and... It just looks, if you ask me, it just looks rubbish. I'll tell you, it gets it spot on. Teapot One, he's got it. If you watch Teapot One's videos, it's constantly between between cameras. And you never get the sense that he's, you know, five, ten miles down the road. So that's all this video is. It's only going to be a little one. Well, this, this part's only a little. I don't know how long the video's going to turn out, because I'm actually going to go through the editing part as well. And I'll demonstrate showing you only using one camera where we're going to cut the audio out and how uh, you can see the jumps and how it doesn't work so that's going to be my little video the first one showing how i edit and what i'll do i'll make other videos on the, the other things i do to edit so that's it for this video i'll see you on the next one Oosh.